Hey, what's up, fellas? Good afternoon. I'll show you where I'm at today after walking. That's my steps for today, 24,558. Um, that's not today. That's from uh, Sunday to, to today. Yeah, I think that's right. Either that, I think, no, let's go Saturday. Let's say it's Saturday today, 24,200. Uh, 28, not 528. Uh, the, the, I'll get to the point. The point is I'm going to attach a short three-minute video from The Wire about something that is going on, I think is going on, and I think this supports my contentions, which is my argument. And I believe it's objective in the, in the fact that if you watch it, you'll get the same idea that I get. So, <clears throat> I don't know if you know much about assassins and the rest of that. Do you remember back in the day where there was a transgender female who was shot in the school after killing a few children? And uh, she left a manifesto, manifesto back, 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 left a manifesto that's never really been released, uh, or it has been, or it was done way after she had done. All of these different killers, they've been kind of um, keeping their manifestos uh, quiet so that it doesn't encourage other serial killers or other killers for either... Uh, ideology or political reasons but for some strange reason they not only released the manifesto but they included an incentive in the manifesto to kill um, assassinate uh, Donald Trump in the manifesto it talks about a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar bounty that has been placed on Donald Trump's head. Why would they publish that in, and not publish any of the other things? I cannot tell you that the more you see, the more I see, the more I realize that there are much more there's a lot more going on than meets the meets the eye at the surface. Um, there is nothing wrong with disliking someone personally. There is nothing wrong with uh, yelling at people or cussing at them or saying that they don't like you, you don't like them, and why you don't like them. The Rubicon, the crossing of the river for me, is when you say publicly, repeatedly, that it's okay that this guy gets assassinated or this guy is a threat to democracy. When you do that, you're telling some people who are absolutely unbalanced that it's okay to not like this person. It's okay because it's okay that you can do whatever you want to this person or these people because they're not like us. I don't know how many of you have actually seen a war, but that's it. All you usually have to do is dehumanize your opponent, and then it makes it much easier for people to do horrific things to them. Um, it, the Nazis, actual Nazis, that are literal Nazis, are actually fighting for the Ukraine in the Ukraine in a battalion called the Azov Battalion. Anyways, I'm getting off the subject. <clears throat> I will tell you this again. I am getting myself in shape. I'm going to stay in shape. I'm getting... Anyways. If someone, for whatever the reason, assassinates President Trump, there is going to be some serious, serious problems. And I don't want any part of it. I would highly suggest for you as an individual that if you're going to worry about any of this stuff, 
in a practical sense, I think sheltering in place is far more easy for you because you know the environment than jumping in what's called a bug out vehicle with a bug out bag or a what's the other word for it what a go bag when i was in we call them go bags um anyways doesn't matter uh, for me this is just another do, do you understand like if we line a bunch of dominoes up or you you line up a bunch of things a bunch of checkpoints to get to a final destination it really seems like they're setting up Donald Trump to be killed. And uh, I cannot tell you that is a horrible, horrible thing for all of us if it happens. All right. Love you guys. I'll, I'll attach the uh, recent video from the, the guy called The Wire. He does an excellent job. Uh, but it, it's how I'm used to consuming uh, intelligence information without the typewriter intro. Uh, it's how they do it in the military, and it's just give me the facts. Uh, don't color coat the facts. Just give me the information. I'll determine what I want to think about the information. I don't need you trying to influence me. Now, why they decided to post this letter all over the news all over the internet that there's a bounty a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar bounty on the head and they talk about his manifesto this dude recently anyway love you guys stay safe and healthy take care of each other if you can and if you can't you have to take care of yourselves you can't call time out in real life it's far better for you to be prepared than it is for you to be caught short love you guys like a fart in a G-string. West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.